Hey everybody, let's talk about how we're going to enter our survey data into our data sheet. <clears throat> this data sheet is on Google Drive. When you open it up, you'll see there's two tabs. There's one tab that says vehicle count data and one that says kill survey data. So um, we can start with uh, survey data, the kill survey data, or sorry, I guess I'm on vehicle count data. So we'll start on vehicle count data. What you'll notice is your roads are here. The road, you know, the road is here. Um, we have the segment name, the total mileage, etc. So pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to fill in the areas that are the blank cells. Um, you don't need to do any totaling. For example, these cells will do automatic summing for you. So all you have to do is put your raw data and your comments in. So um, if you have a look, some of these, some of this data has been entered by me, surveys done by me, some have been done by other cons bio students, etc. You guys are, um, for your group, you guys are cons by uh, spring uh, 2023, conservation biology. So obviously this is S23 cons bio. And then I'm just gonna add a little dash there. Or uh, actually, that's fine, we'll leave it like that. Uh, so then if I'm group uh, uh, 12, let's say, I just type in group 12. And then my names, All right? So, so we have the class, uh, the class here, people's names, and then the date. So if I did it on uh, 310, 23, I'd put that in. And if that was a Sunday, I'd say what day of the week it was, what time we started the survey. So maybe we started 1125. The the distance that we stopped from the um, intersection where we began the survey. So maybe this is, I don't know, 5.1 or whatever, 5.5. And then some, some note about the count location. This was a turnout or something like that, right? Something that'll help us understand it. Then I scroll over here. We had, let's say in our 15 minute count, I had no motorcycles, two hybrids, one Tesla, no Rivians, 24 cars, 13 trucks, and three uh, semis and any notes that that you might uh, want to make um, seemed uh, lower levels of traffic than I would have guessed or something like that right so so whatever your comments are again the comments are anything that will help somebody 10 years from now looking back at the data interpret your stuff and so that's all. So then, then that survey, that that um, car survey is entered. And again, note that everything has been updated here, so you don't need to type anything in. Um, if I had a different road segment, I would just scroll to find where that was and type it in there. For our road kills, similarly, um, I just would need to, uh, you know, scroll around, find my particular road. Say it was Decker Canyon, and I would. Uh, now the observer is not me, the, the, the default that puts in my name in, but I, so I'm gonna say, again, this is group uh, 12, and this is Sean, Kevin, and Allah, right? And then I'm gonna say the date I did this. And I'm gonna say the time I did this. Oh, recall, maybe I did it at, maybe I did it at two o'clock. Recall, the time is always entered in military time. So if you are doing the afternoon, make sure you add 12 to whatever the, the time is so you get military time. Okay, scroll to here's my Decker Canyon, et cetera. And then if I saw any kills, I would type them in there. So if I saw a rabbit kill, right? I could put my rabbit kill in here, let's say, or a skunk kill, whatever it was, or if I saw two skunk kills, whatever. And then let's say I saw a rabbit and two skunk kills. So I come over here. And I would put the, I saw that, this would be the number of kills I saw of each of those. And then I'd put the distance they were here. So maybe it was 1.1, 1, 1 2.3, and uh, uh, I don't know, 3.1 or something. And then in here I would say rabbit kill at 1.1, and then um, uh, skunk kills at 2.3 and 3.1. If I saw anything else, if I saw uh, uh, live coyote uh, walking on side of road, you know, any sort of comments about other things too that maybe not a kill, but just would be good to know related to our road kill. And that's it. 
the last thing I'm gonna do is gonna come here and I'm going to put zeros into all these places where I did not see any, any of these other kills. So this is gonna to confirm to me that indeed, we didn't see any possums, didn't see any raccoon kills, etc. And I'll fill that in. And there we go. So now I've entered my um, uh, observations of vehicle traffic and I've entered my observations of my particular kill. So there you go. Um, have fun and and head, head, go at it. One last note here is sometimes I've noticed what, um, let's see, how do I say this? I want you guys to pay attention to this. This is a real database, right? We're contributing to this long-term management. Don't just jump in here and randomly type some stuff in. Make sure you understand what's going in, what's going on in here and have, you know, and, and take a moment and actually look. Some of our data, I've had people typing stuff in and it, it uh, um, just really not 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 smart things, not not nonsensical things. So make sure you've typed this in, you've double checked. Great idea to do it with one of your buds or do it with your team members the first time, so we're all in agreement. Um, and uh, and making sure that the data we enter is quality. Double checking that that if I say I had three kills in here, I actually have three distances typed in here, and I have three comments about uh, those kills in there, uh, so on and so forth. Great. Looking forward to seeing your guys' data and um, still be safe out there and uh, have, a, have a great weekend and I will talk to you guys super soon. Have a good one.